Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World and I am Deb Chanel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the home, y'all. Honey, we got to get into this story. I don't know how true it is, so don't take it for what it's worth. Just take it and how I'm giving it to you because it is trending out there on social media as we speak, okay? And we do know some um, bloggers or gossip columnist websites they're not always kosher with their news they just breaking stuff out there that ain't true it ain't this that and the third but we just take it how it is okay so we're gonna take this as some nice wine we're gonna say allegedly we're gonna put all them disclaimers out there because we don't know but the rumor out there now is Nene done got fired or she will be getting fired. Okay, because her demeanor, her personality has gotten so big where don't know don't know about it. As far as the producers wanna be dealing with her no more. They looking at her as collateral damage. That's all they can do for her now. She done got so big in the head and she thinks she owns Bravo True Entertainment, allegedly. Okay, wink wink. And she's just getting beside herself she's getting way over yonder somewhere and they just want her to be here but she way over yonder somewhere trying to make things happen okay it seems like her well has run dry she don't got too much invested where she thinking she owns the show and she's executive producer and I guess she thinks she owns it lock, stock, and barrel. Now, the way I'm getting the source from is questionable. But I don't really think they want to be out there trying to get infractions and get into litigations either. But I'm just saying, Media Takeout is the one of my resource that I'm getting this commentary from. And we know that somewhat um, Andy Cohen and Nini have been beefing. It could be just a drama up you know, business for them. Because, you know, it's a family affair over here. We're going to call a spade a spade. They can go both ways. It's 50-50 right now. Because, like I said, Nene hadn't been acting right. And she sure ain't been acting right with them gays out there either. Because I did a story. And they happened to be gay who's actually was breaking out the story. That they were just trying to say hey to Nene in a wig shop. Local wig shop. Everybody that got a little comb. Not a really local comb. You had to have a comb. Like, it's a job to be old. Over there in this low budget wig shop accessory world type of uh franchise she was in or business uh place mark she was in trying to shop for a wig or accessories i don't know but right now i'm thinking about what the hell greg gonna do did he tell nene that she need to stay stay there out working she need to be out there working for them both okay she need to be solidifying many ventures out there to keep them in the way of how they are accustomed to living but she over there showing out with andy cohen trying to tell him how to run his business how to partake in his business and this that and the third and i'm like they gave a title now media takeout don't tell who write their articles up for them they just say staff uh member or you know staff of media takeout but they titled this joker nene fire from real housewives of atlanta this is her last season now you know she been out there saying this and that and the third that she don't think she coming back but it seemed like i'm experiencing deja vu or something it's just like i've seen all the episodes pretty much and it's like they playing back in my mind and i'm like we did several articles on my channel about her or doing certain commentary about her saying that you know she ain't going nowhere she gonna rock until real housewives go off the air or whatnot she had did an interview where people were saying was she gonna you know stay with the franchise this that and the third and she was like yeah she had met with her team and her team was saying that um she pretty much is an OG. She kind of had this show wrapped up and she needs to see it through. And she even made a comment stating that uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta was her baby and something about um, she shouldn't leave her baby alone or something to that effect, if I'm remembering right, that, you know, she wanted to get rid of her baby, like throw the baby out with the bath water. But she had to rethink that, you know, she had to nurture her baby. She had to come back and and, and and nurture it and grow it and, you know, solidify herself again on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, something to that effect. But I was like, hmm, 
are they just drumming up more business, you know, little anxiety type, uh, uh, we got posts that they're putting out there to keep us, um, drawn into the whole season of season 12. Since it's kind of slowing up, then picking up in little different episodes here and there, or it's being shown a lot at the latter part of an episode than at the first beginning. I mean, I don't know how they're trying to spin this, but this is what they're saying now, honey. And then with Andy Cohen getting on her or uh, poking fun at her about she's recycling her ball dresses or her confessional dresses, or when she come out and, you know, that, that Mexican dress, she even said, like a little, um, fiesta type dress party dress for when they get in all you know having a little party and they want to you know be all cute with it she was wearing her little fiesta type dress okay fiesta type dress i don't know but it was cute but they were trying to say that nini had a malfunction or wardrobe function and the strap came a loose and you know then they saw her wearing it in one of her confessionals and you know, Anna Cohen was just poking fun at her, but she took it to another whole level like it was just serious. She had went from just, um, what, it just being a low-key shade to a DEF CON war, all, all out war zone. She wanted to go in on Anna Cohen about some type of dress that really didn't care, you know, one way or the one didn't I really see it one way or the other hell it was a dress it was uh messed up you had to fix it and you recycled or you wore it again most people do I don't know why they think reality superstars or uh, celebrity stars and they really ain't stars they just regular people being paid on tv to act a fool to bring in revenue they take that revenue and they go live the life they have always dreamed of living that's pretty much it they're not on the big screen they're not getting that serious money that you really do when you're working with a uh, a veteran in the industry of acting as an actor or an actress they're not getting that kind of money okay uh, but they tend to put themselves on, you know, these imaginary platforms and pedestals so high up in the hierarchy that it's not, you know, in, in the real world, it's not really there. But, hey, they making trillions and they pay you uh, hundred thousands or a million. But, they again, they making trillions, meaning the elites, the executives. And you ain't going to never eat from their table, Nene. So I don't know what's going on. You trying to eat at the table and they told you no. And you gave them an ultimatum and said, well, if I can't eat at y'all table, I'm going to bounce. Girl, you know they're going to show you the dough and have somebody escort you if if possible. You don't make ultimatums like that. Not when you want to sit in the seat with a bloodline. Girl, please. Anyway, let's get on into this article. Like I said, it was titled by Media Takeout. Nene fired from Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is her last season. Let's go on in here and see what they're saying about this being her last season. Why don't we? Yes, we shall. Okay, proceed. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Lil' Kim. Okay. It says, this will be Nene's final season on Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta. Network executives have unanimously decided not to renew Nene's contract for next season. Media Takeout News spoke with two people at Bravo who confirmed that the network is no longer interested in having Nene on their top-rated show. What the hell did Nene do over there, girl? Mm, so she must knew the axe was swinging low to her. Ooh, ooh, that's a big slap in the face. I wonder who they gonna get, because they sure have been playing Marlo Hampton up, okay? So I wouldn't be surprised if her little friend become the it girl sparring out there on the real housewives of Atlanta with Kenya Moore okay because I'm telling you she is destined to be a part of the show and she's gonna wave bye bye to Nene and I don't think Nene would come in as a friend that show would be a slap in her face and it would definitely show that she need money if she switched the roles and she became a friend of the show okay I'm just saying it ain't a good look not when you were self-proclaiming yourself as the head OG all right the birth person of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, somehow it got twisted and you got above yourself. Is that the case, Nene? I'm here for you, boo. I'm trying to understand it myself. How did you go from high to low? Hmm. Was it your attitude? Was it your demeanor? Was it just how you were treating people like shit? I don't know, okay? Same way you climbed that ladder. Maybe the same way the people that you slammed and walked over and dogged out are the same people you're going to see when you're coming back down that ladder. Okay? That's why when you're going up, make sure you 
uh, bump heads with everybody in a nice way. You shake everybody's hand. You treat them like you want to be treated. So when you do come down, it'll be status quo, meaning you didn't make no infringements. You didn't do no infractions, and everything is cool, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, one network inside explained, Nene has been getting more and more difficult to work with each year. It would be tolerable if she was adding to the drama in the show, but she's not. And that is a good point because Nene feel like the drama should come to her and she address it instead of doing what they paid her for, which was to start mess. Don't put hands on each other. We ain't got to go that far. But start the mess, instigate, instigate, implement, and execute it. Okay? It's not that simple. I mean, it's not that hard. It's a very simple task. So now, how does that look for you now, Nene? If this is really true, that it's not a plot, it's not a ploy to get us pulled in to make sure we're tuned in for each episode of season 12. You know, maybe it's some truth to it. Boo, I think you need to be groveling about now because you have that expensive house. Hopefully it is paid for. But again, just because you pay for a house outright, if you don't pay those taxes uh, quarterly or what is it, twice a year or at the end of the year, you don't pay off in full, they will snatch that house right back from you and then you will be ass out. Same as if you don't pay your car insurance in Georgia and you think you're going to ride out there. Mm-hmm, flossing and glossing and all that, and you ain't got no insurance. Wrong answer. They're going to tow that thing. They're going to give you a fine for it, and that's just how it is. Nothing is really owned in this world. And a lot of people don't understand that. We're renting everything, okay? If you don't do a certain thing, like pay your um, taxes at the end of the year, they come snatching shit. I don't care what it is. The IRS always got their hands out. They ain't pay what? How how far are they behind? Okay, let's go uh, uh, throw them out their homes. Let's repossess some stuff. Let's just do what we have to do. Same thing with a car. You don't keep no insurance. You got your deed to your car or your 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 uh, last note. Uh, what do you call it? It's a deed to a house, but it is a what to a, a car that's paid off uh title okay got a title to your car so therefore if you don't keep no insurance on it guess what you go out there and ride if you want to and they'll put that thing in empowerment take that mess away from you or tell you have to sit it down so well so how can you use something that you don't pay for but if you don't keep the uh criteria they feel you should meet with owning a car it's it just ass out. Okay, just ass out. We even, uh, what else can I name besides a car or a house? Oh, when you, like say, if you uh, get sick, ill, you die, all the stuff that you call yourself acquiring, like uh, clothes, perfumes, jewelry, all that, that's going to go to somebody else. Okay? You spent it. You didn't wear all of it that you could have worn but you just you know wore it just for special occasions so you really didn't get your wear and tire out of it guess what when you die gone on um, whatever somebody gonna be wearing your clothes or they gonna be donated out and still somebody that you don't even know gonna be wearing your shit okay ain't that something so like i said the lord had to come in here with a used donkey used clothes he didn't own anything right we think we own stuff, but in reality, if we really fix our minds around it, we don't own nothing. We just rent stuff. So think about that. Just drop that wisdom on you, okay? We're getting back to Nene. Now, what you going to do with them three swag stores? If your customers are not coming in full swing every day, making that rent that you're paying on those places that I'm sure you're leasing out, what's going to happen to them, Nene? Girl, gonna, if you ain't pay for that house, you can't pay them taxes. Girl, what's going to happen to that house? Mm-hmm. See, that's what I'm saying. You go out here and you do all this foul shit. Well, don't want to talk to your fans. Don't want to talk to your viewers of your show. Don't want to do a little hand uh, shake or take a little picture here and there. See what I'm saying? Karma come full circle, girl. You better make amends. You better get on that. Um, You better get around them executives and grovel. Take a pay cut here and there because it ain't going to look good, honey. Mm. It ain't going to look good unless you're getting another show like they're 
fine-tuning you to get a show like Wendy Weaves, a talk show. I don't know who would uh, sit up there and want to see you when you're actually making enemies out here. You don't want to talk to nobody in the airport. You don't want nobody snacking a, uh, taking a picture of you from long range, slapping folks out of, uh, sl- slapping phones out of people's hands. And then some your fans just want to just show you some love from the LGBT community. And you're looking at them. No, you ain't looking at them, really. You just paying them no mind. You paying them dust while they're sitting up there trying to have a conversation with you, trying to say, hey, I'm your number one fan. Hey, I like what you do on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Or, hey, Nina, I just like you. you just throwing them shade. Like, I don't even hear you talking. Why are you, why are you even looking at me? Because everything that's coming out your mouth, I don't hear you. That's the kind of negativity you're giving these people out here, honey. Girl. Anyway, moving back to the article, because I don't understand what's going on with your attitude, Nene. I really don't. It's really kind of messed up for the negative. All right. But anyway, uh, going back to the article, it says another insider had a different take. She explained Nene went after Andy, okay, Cohen, and that was the end of her. He was the only one at Bravo that was pulling for her. Now that she lost him, it's over for. Last week, Nene fired shots at her former bestie, Andy, after he threw some subtle shade at her for re-wearing a dress on his top-rated show, Watch What Happens Live. Nene took her Instagram page and said, Can somebody please tell me what was the point of this? Okay, like I don't get it. That was two years ago. I wore this dress once, so I can't sit in a confessional with it on. Andy, how many times have you recycled your suit and ties? Okay, or your suits and ties. Nene stated adding the hashtag pointless and messy. Okay, so who Nene trying to check? Girl, don't ever check the person that you're trying to continue getting a check from, girl. Unless you don't sold your soul or something to that affair, okay? Other than that, they pretty much own you, girl. They, they pretty much own you. That's why they said they get your own stuff. Be your own entrepreneur. But like I said, you, you don't pay them taxes. You don't pay those rules and regulations. What they tell you they need you to do. Girl, please. Okay, you might well work a nine to five with the rest of us that are out there making men's ends meet, honey. Ooh, paycheck to paycheck. I know you didn't know nothing about that, but up there, I think y'all do. It's just y'all live paycheck to paycheck when it comes to getting those Real Housewives of Atlanta checks, those true entertainment checks, those Bravo printed up checks, all right? Because just because y'all have the money, y'all flunk like y'all got it, y'all may be living pay to pay just like we do, okay? Fine, no, I wouldn't put a passion. Hmm, I'm just saying. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, according to Nene, she shouldn't have to worry about Andy or any other Bravo TV executive coming for her. Yes, Nene, tr- tr- yeah, you do, because you're an independent contractor over there saying you're willing to work for True Entertainment, Bravo uh, franchise in any way and any capacity that they see they want to put you in. Yes, they own you, boo. You don't own them. Get it right. They are part of the elite. You're just the entertainment for them. Get it right. Good. Know your position, play it, and everybody's fine. When you're trying to above, rise above the status quo that they put you on, that's when you're going to have problems, and that's the problem you're having now, Nene. Okay, don't think. They don't want you to think. They pay you not to think. They pay you to react. That's all they want you to do, all right? Just dropping wisdom or knowledge on your boo. Okay, but going leaving there, it says, It's enough that we, meaning Real Housewives of Atlanta ladies, come for each other, and now we have to worry about executives coming for us. No, I mean coming for me. It's not cool. Nene stated, Wasn't you interviewing those girls? I told you, Nene, they ain't girls. They ladies. They women. What are you? Okay, so stop putting your own people down and then just your whole gender down. Okay, it ain't got to be about a coloristic thing or a um, culture thing. It could just be a gender thing. All right. <sighs> Nene. Okay, but anyway. Uh, she goes on to say, what you mad about? Y'all stay coming for me, but soon as I say something or do something, I'm wrong. I don't appreciate this at all. No, 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 Nene. It's how you say it in the form of how you present it in the form of people don't give a crap about you. 
it's their playground. Just like with YouTube, we can't say we want this, that, and the third. We either get up here and make our videos, hope they don't get flagged, or hope they don't get a yellow thing on the saying they have to make sure it's advertiser friendly and then they take their 40 percent or whatever you can't have no place where you can complain to them about these things because you have to email them and then it's just a whole little oh it's just like hey you playing in a playground you get what you get you move on you sell merchandise on it or off the the tube or whatnot you make your money that way or you get sponsorships from you know different uh entities if you get over a hundred thousand you know subscribers or more then you get a lot of more money and wealth and revenue okay but we all contracted we're all independent contractors over here that are content creators okay depends on how much you want do you want to be seen uh seemingly tied down as an entrepreneur on your platform but this is all that you do or you can actually go out there and get another stream of income and do what you got to do. It's a choice you have to make, Nina. And right now, it don't seem like you're making very good choices. Either you want to be a part of Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise, do what they tell you to do, when they tell you to do it, and don't have an opinion about it, okay? Because they don't want the opinion. They want drama. They thought you were a good fit. Now they're saying like, no, you're not a good fit anymore because you want to think they don't want you to think they want you to react they want you to give them drama they want you to give content that people are going to zoom in on and uh, uh, attach themselves to that so they can keep coming back so you can continue to making them trillions zillions of dollars and you'll get thousands or millions okay that's just the game how it's played it's always been there you say you're playing check i mean chess not checkers but it seems like you're playing checkers okay i'm just saying I'm on the outside looking in, and this is what I'm seeing. But y'all, that's all I have for this video. Uh huh. I gave y'all my opinions on it. Like I said, it came from Media Takeout News, and it also uh, came on PopularSuperstars.com as well. Another vlogging site. Check them out. If you don't believe me, go and find out for yourself and you take it how you want to digest it, okay? I'm just giving you information, okay? We can talk about it. We can debate about it. But I don't know. I'm asking now what y'all think about it. Y'all heard my, my pun on it, my spin on it, my perspective. So I want to see what y'all have to say. Do you think Nene is going to be here for season 13? Do you think that is a publicity stunt and they're just drumming up more... Um, salacious feedback for us to partake of and have us guessing what's going to come next how it's going to come so they're driving up ratings on that aspect of the uh, spectrum or is nini has come to the end of her rope because she done ex upset so many people i mean she definitely have set up the uh heterosexual world you know you got so many people against her and you got some people that love her but when you start taking off screen uh, beef and bringing it well you you taking on screen beef and bringing it out and subjecting it to your so called followers viewers of your show or fanatics or fans of the show and you treating them any kind of way like you treat some of the people on on screen no because mm -mm. <laughs> what you don't understand consumers have the power to make or break anything in this society if they get enough people saying no they don't want to see that they don't they boycott it whatever because y'all don't have a union you know what i'm saying I don't, I don't think unions even exist in georgia okay but you're at the mercy on consumers looking at your show. If they don't find any validity in it or excitement, they're gone. Ratings ploop and things start to get canceled. Okay, you wanted to get in that uh, signification type of situation, Nene. Not um, shows getting canceled and you ain't you ass out. Okay, baby, you know, your butt out. You know, showing the whole world. And it's not for the good. Okay? So, like I said, that's how I feel. I want to know how y'all feel about this situation. What do y'all really think? Are they uh, gooping us? Okay? Are they conning us? Or is it some validity to Nene not going to be around on uh, season 13? I personally think after just how Nene's been acting for the last couple of episodes, we can't do without her. You know, she's not an OG in my book because this is not how we get down. 
We are born and bred, and that's how we are until the Lord takes the breath out of us, okay? And another, God knows Greg done been through enough, and then he got his wife up here acting all crazy, knowing he depending on that paycheck. Nene, it's not about you. It's about your husband. It's about your grandchildren. It's about your children, honey. It ain't all about you. I mean, I know you're talking about you were going to a spiritual council, but, girl, you might need to... Um, partake of a few more sessions because right now it ain't looking good girl it ain't looking good all right but y'all tell me what y'all thought about it that's the video that i dropped out for y'all strictly for entertainment all right don't know if the stuff is true or not but this is what's trending in social media so i thought i'll uh kind of break the news to you all to see how y'all felt See if y'all feel it's a true story or not, okay? But y'all get in on comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about it, and I'll see you next video, okay? This is your girl, Deb Chanel, signing off, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to su subscribe to my channel. That's right. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, share my videos, okay? Bye-bye.